Hello, it's me, Zell, and yes, I'm back. It's been a while, um, but we're gonna be watching some Star Wars The Bad Batch. Finally, some more Star Wars is coming, so I'm excited, I hope you are too. If you wanna see what I've been up to and why I've been not putting videos up lately, just stick around to the end of the video and I'll fill you in. Otherwise, let's get to this episode. We're gonna be watching the first episode of The Bad Batch, season two, titled Spoils of War. So, let's get to it. Go, 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 go. And here they are. Hey, this feels like Avatar, the visuals. Wow. How long? I guess they're going to tell us how long this has been, right? We're on a mission. That does not give you a pass on your studies. All right, yes, ring out your bow. Nice. I love how his protective dad mode came out again. Also, did they have a new paint job? Did she do their armor? I always say. And who are you? Wouldn't you like to know? Why she sound familiar? Oh, so, this is the top team you've been talking. She's about. the most trustworthy pirate I know. Is it supposed to be? Have comforting? we met her before, or just the voice I'm actors I'm familiar with? Look alike. So much for quality. Got a control. name? Brown eyes. Whoa! However, the phenotypic eye color for all clones is brown. Iris pigmentation was not affected by well, our mutation. Well, as fascinating as this has been, <laughs> I have places I'm heading to the outer rim. That the outer is Casa rim. Sereno, the former <gasps> home of Count Dooku. Ooh. Who's that? A Jedi who betrayed the Republic and led the Separatists in a oh, war. Oh, Echo! With him being dead, Dooku's entire war chest is up for grabs. Interesting. Is that like destroyed? Is that river you go through there? What happened to it? Imperial orbital bombardment. Same as old Camino. Aww. Whoa, those are some big packages. They did stun for the boys. Let's say that qualifies as high value. Very How could all shiny. Belong to one person? Right. It is safe to assume that the majority of Dooku's fortune came from the many worlds he controlled and exploited, all in the name That's of his That's so warrior. much. That's what corrupt people Duke, do. Dooku, you changed but so much. Isn't that what we're doing? Transport team, fall back and hold your positions. Is that Cody? Speed I feel like they're trying to hint that. that. Maybe we're not going to see him yet. I don't know. We obviously saw him in the trailer. Did they get locked in? Oh, Damn, no. Get out of there. Not hiding anyway. Stun, stun, stun. Oh, snap. Thousands upon thousands of miles above the... Who just does that? Yeah, I agree, Wrecker. Wow. Oh, a secret comes... Apartment. Oh. Release the escape pods. It's their only way off the oh. ship. No. Containers on class four freighters are equipped with re-entry thrusters. We can escape in a cargo container. Oh, that. You are correct. I am impressed. Aww. However. The containers must be ejected before leaving the atmosphere. We're not going out. We're going down. We're going down, down. Cover me. Wait. Oh. Oh, that looks pretty. That's cool. Why are the re-entry boosters supposed to fire? I think they should have. So they're just assuming they're automatic? I guess they don't really have an option, but they're like, well, we could die a horrible death. Really? 
Well, there you have it. That's like a cliffhanger cliffhangers, but no one's stressed. No one's worried. We know they're going to get out of it. Okay. Can you imagine second episode, the beginning of it? Splat. Echo. Tech. Mega. Dead. Gone. Over. Bad Batch. Hunter. Wrecker. Maybe they get hot crosshair back in the mix. But no, that's not going to happen. So either way, fun. Good intro episode. Um, Just right, right back to it. Right back to their bounty hunting job. Trying to buy their freedom back, pay off their debts, start a new life. You know, Hunter kind of wants to start a family and focus on taking care of Omega and they just kind of want to retire. But well, Hunter wants to retire, but it sounds like Echo and maybe the others, they're kind of wanting to use what knowledge and skills they have to help people. And I think, you know, Hunter's kind of the lone one that's not really focused on that. I think even Omega wants to help people, you know, and I think this will, this season will probably lead up to that constantly trying to show that, you know, what they do makes a difference and fighting back and fighting for what they believe in and finding that new purpose. Because that's part of what episode one was kind of talking about was finding a new purpose because they were a special class and fighting for the Republic. And then the Republic was and they're like, dude what do we do now everyone's betraying us everyone's gone cuckoo and now they're trying to t nix us so they're running for their life they're trying to just be like okay clearly the republic's no longer in the empire we don't want any of that and so now what we have all these skills and training and uh now this little this little gal our family and you know it's certainly starting to grow on some that idea like echo certainly seems part of that he's been through a lot he knows kind of what he wants to turn his life towards um but yeah so it's an interesting um it'll be an interesting direction we're obviously gonna see cody at some point i imagine they're gonna obviously hopefully show his crosshair there's a empty there's a open-ended non-closure story that it's going there um i hope to see some more familiar faces that'll be cool always a fan but yeah the crew's back at it again they're having fun omega's all grown up and she's learning lots has a very smart brain she is uh like one of them the clone but also her own person right so Anyways, I enjoyed that. I hope you guys did too. It was fun to record and see some more Star Wars again. And I hope you guys did too. Um, stick around if you want to know why the videos have been a little bit less recently. Basically, I have been decided to be on a hiatus and just playing it more cool. Kind of two things going on. On one hand, I was just a little burnt out. And honestly, I still a little am but I'm wanting to do some of the Star Wars stuff, so that's what it brought me back. And on the other hand also is I have a new puppy. His name's Calcifer. Calcifer. He's a corgi and he's a handful. And when I'm home and have time, he basically occupies all my time. You know how puppies are, chewing on things, pooping and peeing, barking, and just needing attention. So, and he's not really in the phase where he's napping for hours at a time. He has a lot of energy. So it makes it difficult on times that I'm home where I wouldn't usually record a whole bunch. Now he's home with me and I have to be giving him full attention. So everything else is going to be putting on a back burner until he's vaccinated and I can take him, do more things, tire him out, and also just him getting more grown up. So things are probably going to be a little different in that regards. But yeah, anywho, that's kind of what's been going on. Um, and I've just kind of been enjoying doing things in my downtime. I realized I was starting to get a little bit stressed, always thinking about timing and making sure I record in time and playing the game of getting things out and fast enough so you get enough views and interest. Otherwise, you fall under the radar because the algorithm and there's so much things to keep up with. And it just gets really stressful. And I didn't really want to become that person that I started to feel like it was impacting me. You know, I don't really see myself nor want to be a full-time content creator strictly because I know it occupies basically every, all your free time. Um, everyone I know who puts out content daily, if not just a couple times a week, it takes a lot of time. Um, and that's me not even editing my own stuff in case you didn't know. Most people do know that Sun, Sons of Sun is my editor and has been from the beginning. Um, and that's a huge load off. So I didn't want it to impact my life by occupying all of my free time. And if I, even if I wasn't actively recording, it was taking up my mental free time. 
and I was stressing about it and then I would just do nothing trying to think about what else can I put out and what else can I do and I'm not doing enough or or I'm doing some stuff and no nobody's watching it's pointless that sort of thing so I'm just gonna focus on the things start you know just do it small and when I'm in the mood if I'm having feeling gun ho I'll do it so that's why things are sporadic that's why things seem not a schedule and why I've been tampering off just kind of letting myself do what I want to do you know and not letting you know, for me, this is a hobby, a side thing, and I enjoy doing it when I want to do it and not making myself feel forced to do it because the schedule of when content's out. So that's kind of the gist on that. Um, but I appreciate all you guys who've hung around and if you're still here watching this um, and those who are always checking out and th seeing when things are up or maybe those who are just wondering where I've been, but that's what's been up. So um i don't like making any promises so i don't like breaking promises and um again i i, I gotta play things by ear and i and i'm not really like a schedule person per se as many of you know so um but if you're wanting to stay tuned um the thing i'm most consistent on at least checking in and community still engaging on is probably the discord which you can see the invite code down below but um that's probably the best thing. I'm not even on Twitter very much anymore. I've not been on a lot of social medias, but Discord I check in pretty regularly. That's not to say I actively talk with people and I, and I don't do one-on-one -on -one discussions. It's definitely just me chiming in on the group chats and people talking amongst themselves and us having like a joint conversation. That's what it's about. It's about the community, not about me. I'm just a person, just like you're a person and we're all just talking about things we enjoy together. That's what it's about. And that's my rant. I'll leave it at that. Um, but yeah, guys, thanks so much for watching and thanks for being here. You know how to support if you want to continue supporting. Um, and really, you could just literally just a thumbs up if you like the video. Subscribe if you're new here and you want to see more. And that'll let your, again, be the best way of letting you know when stuff goes live. Because hello, when will it happen? Nobody knows. <laughs> um, and yeah, I guess that's that. So Thanks so much and I'll see you next time.